Hey there, I'm going to walk you through how to mic a French horn. This actually is a bit more difficult than you may think, but we'll get to that in a minute. First, let's start by gathering what we're going to need. Some mics, I'm going to use a SM57 uh, condenser microphone, an ADK large diaphragm multi-pattern condenser microphone, an SM57, and a pair of small diaphragm pencil condensers, also from ADK, as the main pair. This, of course, is restricted by to what you have access to. A device to record to, some stands and some cables, and finally, and most importantly, a good sounding space, preferably a rather large room. You may ask, why? Why is the space so important? And it's because of how the horn works. The horn's distinctive sound takes time and space to develop. Take a look at the shape of the horn, too. It is known as a conical instrument, which is to say, as the sound goes through the instrument, the bore of the horn, how large the pipe the sound is going through, gets progressively larger and larger. Then also how large that bore is, how quickly it gets larger, and what material the horn is made out of all affect the sound. This is why large bore horns like the Con AD are usually and very often used in Hollywood soundtracks. But lighter, smaller bore horns are becoming extremely popular in the US for more technical playing after already being popular in Europe for quite some time. But enough of the technical lecture, let's get set up and record some horn. So now that we're set up here in Indiana University's Ford Crawford Hall, let's see how I set up the recording equipment. I have set up two pencil condensers and an XY pair out in the room, a decent distance away from where the performer will be. Next is the large diaphragm condenser microphone from ADK as well, which I have placed opposite side of the projection of the instrument. Next is the SM81, um, which is placed facing away from the horn in front of a hard reflective surface perpendicular to the projection of the horn. And finally, the SM57, which we've placed fairly close to the horn's bell, into the bell. As we were recording, I will go through each mic individually, and then go through combinations at different levels, ending on what I think sounds best for what I'm trying to record.
So that sounded great. However, what if you don't have enough space, resources, or time to record the horn the right way? Well, since you now know that the horn sound is based largely on how sound develops in the space, we can just close mic the horn and make our own space. So now you know how to mic a solo French horn.